Welcome to our home. You're in Southeast Michigan right now. My name is Dr. Russ, and we've got some great fun for you today. Our concern today is that we can get tired of target practicing, particularly when it comes to shooting paper. Even, even if that paper is exciting, birchwood, casey, uh, reactive, uh, splat targets. They're fun. I don't even use regular paper anymore. Well, what happens when you get tired of using those? Well, one of the answers is uh, these big blast caps that uh, can go on any pop uh, bottle that you like. Uh, we can fill them with uh, flour and uh, make a real big white explosion. We can fill them with water and put red dye in. We can take some water like this and we can put some blue dye in. This is just food coloring. And uh, after we turn this uh, water blue, uh, we could put some soap suds in it from this Dawn dishwater washing detergent and uh, maybe get some bubbles in the air. If nothing else, there'll be some suds and that'll kind of clean up the area, wouldn't you think? Well, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do with all these bottles. Now, let me tell you a little bit about these. This is a uh, one of these blasting caps. You cannot use regular bottle caps. These are much heavier duty than the regular caps that come on pop bottles. These are very heavy duty. And uh, on the inside, they have a, uh, a membrane, a silicone membrane. And we're gonna use a, uh, like a basketball or football needle to go in them here in a minute and pump them up with air. But first, this bottle of blue water with dishwashing detergent has to be put on real tight. And uh, I want to note here that we only put soft objects in these. We don't put anything hard, like marbles, ball bearings, nails, not even a paper clip. Because, you know, back in Vietnam, we had these things called Claymore mines. And they were beautiful when we squeezed the charging handle and everything in front of us got shredded by over 300 ball bearings. And uh, these bottles don't aim in one direction. They go in 360. So I don't want anything coming back at us. So only soft items inside. You can add confetti. Uh, I had somebody recently just put in, uh, instead of a, a white flower, they put in a, uh, a, a the chocolate powder that you make chocolate milk with and made a brown explosion. There's uh, certainly mustard powder. You can play with all kinds of colors. But once we get our soft subject into the bottle, the maker puts uh, this bag inside. And that's important because that's gonna protect us just in case it explodes it will stay inside this plastic bag. You could fill it with a hand pump. I'm filling it with this uh, Ryobi battery pump. And if you look down here, you'll see that I'm filling it to 80 pounds of pressure. Well, in that case, 106 pounds of pressure. I, uh, I saw somebody uh, just turn an electric pump on these and leave it on to see when they would blow by themselves. I'm not gonna tell you what the number was, but I can tell you this, it was way beyond the 80 pounds of pressure. Yet, if you do 80 pounds, you're gonna get a lot of fun out of this. You're gonna get repeat usage out of these 
because these caps, there's 10 caps in a container. These caps uh, cost about $10 on the internet. Uh, some of the big air gun places sell them for about $15. But uh, that's still a dollar a cap. And then once you start using each one 10 times, and you can, it gets down to 10 cents a, uh, uh, a use. So these can be a lot of fun and not a lot of danger if you just follow the instructions. The instructions are found inside and uh, they're a quick read. You should know that in smaller bottles, now don't use those real ultra thin plastic water bottles, but a good hard pop bottle uh, can take 50 pounds and then the larger bottles can take 80 and you're going to get a real good explosion out of those. So safety, we want to use this bag when we put the air in, we want to use some safety glasses, uh, we want to uh, use a, a pump and just stay under those air pressures that I told you about and I think you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, 30 yards back and you'll be just fine. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna use three different air guns. I thought we would use uh, two from Humorex, and trust me, Humorex is not paying me anything for these, and Humorex is the manufacturer of these, so I thought at least out of three air guns, we ought to use two Humorex. Uh, but we're gonna start with just a 22 caliber, and then 25, and then a 357. So, with that, we're going to use this Humorex 22 caliber and shoot the first bottle on the left. Pretty loud, huh? <laughs> Imagine if it had been a two liter bottle, which I actually, <laughs> I'm glad I called the neighbors before I did this uh, because we do believe in backyard friendly. Um, but if you check out a, a video on uh, my basement uh, bullet trap, <laughs> you'll see us shoot a two liter with 80 pounds of pressure <laughs> in a snowstorm. It's quite a picture. Okay, let's shoot these next two air guns. This next is a Humorex 25 caliber. I hope my neighbors forgive me for this. It's a one-time deal. And lastly, a 357. We probably should have started with a 17. <laughs> okay, this time we're gonna shoot some red, uh, red water dye, uh, water with red dye in it. Then we'll uh, shoot the blue soap suds last. And we'll stay with the 357. And I'll get ready for the police to arrive. And uh, we'll clean up the mess with some soap suds. Renee, how many bottles of, how many bubbles of soap did you see come down? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Well, this gives you a little idea about some backyard fun you can have when your paper targets get a little bit boring. Uh, this is a balance between uh, breaking up the boredom and remaining backyard friendly. Uh, uh, you may want to take these to a field somewhere and shoot these uh, uh, bottles. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about next week. 
uh, we're going to be talking about uh, pellets and it'll be a little video you've never seen before. Oh, there's videos that weigh the pellets, make sure they're all the same height, or rather the weight. There's gonna be a, a, a visual inspection to make sure that that skirt on the back is nice and round because when we have an imperfect pellet, that's when we have flyers. And the last thing you want is flyers in competition with your friends and competition that's serious and when you're hunting. But we're going a lot further than that. We're going someplace you've never seen on YouTube videos before. And that is underneath the magnifying glass. I don't think some of the manufacturers are going to be too happy with me when they see what you're going to see next week with a close-up, a real close-up of what these pellets are. So that you might pick the best pellets of all for your air gun. I want to thank you for the attention you've given our... Uh, our videos. Uh, we're just seven months old. We've got over 52,000 viewers. We have over 525 subscribers. We're growing leaps and bounds. I, I can't even explain it. Uh, but let me tell you how you might help. You see, you need to give us a thumbs up because if you don't give us a thumbs up, Google gives us a thumbs down. And what I mean by that is they have a very complicated algorithm, they call it. I call it a recipe. And if we don't see thumbs up, they just mandatorily give you a thumbs down. And that determines whose videos are going to be along the margin, along the bottom, uh, and get some exposure. And if you don't get exposure with YouTube, you don't, you don't get a thing. So please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you'll get that, uh, uh, that pellet uh, program that's coming up. That'll be our, uh, this is our 20th video. The next one's 21. Uh, after that, we do the Hatson uh, Bull Boss. Um, and uh, I think I think the uh, Umarex 25 caliber after that, the Adventure 25 caliber after that. And uh, then we're going to be talking, showing you targets that have been shot without a regulator and with a regulator. So there's a lot coming. Um, know that if you make a comment, I'm going to be the guy who answers them. I try to answer them every day, maybe every other day, but I do personally answer all of your comments. I do give you thanks for keeping us as popular as you have. We're breaking all kinds of records. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny, but... Uh, and I want you to know uh, why there's so many subscribers and why there's so many people that are, are watching and viewing. And that's because they all want to stay air gun sharp. 